she inspired me to constantly speak up in front of whoever to be brutally honest whenever, regardless of who it might offend. She inspired me with me doing HIV activism throughout my community as well to be way more vocal when related to queer health. So here's my honest poem. Yes, sometimes I ignore my disease. But please understand that I still have feelings of inadequacy, a fear of abandonment. And I still be feeling like people look at me differently. And sometimes I feel like people only enjoy my poetry because they feel sorry for me. So I cope with a misdose. Maybe if I don't take this pill, I can be as normal as I want to be. I am living in a facade. But in reality, I can't join the army. I don't really want to go. But the fact that they've prohibited me makes me feel like I'll never be all I can be. So I'm camouflaged. Draped in insecure fatigues. Immune system fighting too hard. I am always fatigued. And this chick in the mirror always be looking at me like I owe her something better. He's bitter, hurt. Because the mother he's never known used to be his babysitter. And she just wants to know that if no one else gets her, nobody in this world understands, and it should be me. And I do, but it still hurts. Pain still lurks in the dark corners of poetry venues. Threatening to expose the misuse of thumbs dancing across my Blackberry. And this is what's scary. I don't even care anymore. The allure of freedom is far more attractive than being an activist who's inactive in the pursuit of attaining an undetectable viral load. So if pain chooses to expose the fact that I sometimes spit HIV-infused poems, and then go home and tell my T-cells lies that they'll be okay without a pill, then so shall it be. Because there's a big difference between HIV having you and having HIV.